Hey everyone, welcome back to CryptoCash. Thank you so much for joining me here. I hope you're having a phenomenal day and had a great weekend. Let's take another look here again, of course, at Avalanche, see what's going on. Uh, we can see somewhat of an ascending trend line here too, but it does look like there is a rising wedge pattern as well. So while patterns don't always fulfill themselves, you just gotta recognize that there is potential or propensity here at this point for the price action to break down. Again, I think the reason why rising wedge patterns uh, exist or more so like have a tendency of breaking out a little higher is just because you can only honor an ascending trend line for so long. So it's inevitable for this to break down. Uh, once again, we'll just double check a few key factors, but AVAX is doing well concurrent with Bitcoin here. If you look at Bitcoin's chart and AVAX chart, they're similar, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, but again, Bitcoin could be retracing a little bit here soon, so we're gonna double check that. Uh, we'll look at some, you know what, why don't we do macro fibs here for the moment, considering the price is running. Whenever the price runs like this, I don't really like to uh, to just keep extending my fib levels. I think it's kind of, um, it doesn't work as well for swing trading. For maybe shorter term time frame reversals, maybe yes. But macro perspective here, we can see this 0.5 fib level holding pretty strong as a resistance. So there's a decent chance, and this happens a lot, where the price action will effectively work itself back here to the more local high and then continue from there, right? So again, we got some decent support at this 2650. We talked about that previously. That's the previous resistance. Now that we've broken it, that should be the new low, okay? So hypothetically, that's where we're at. We'll go ahead and update a few other things here on the chart and kind of continue on. We're gonna double check some back-end liquidation data and open interest, kind of see we're out there. And before we do, I just wanna say congrats to our community here for some nice solid profits from Bitcoin, 28%, and that's a long, and Aptos short, 21%. We did have to close an SUI short as well, but man, that thing is a monster. I do not recommend shorting that coin. I just analyze it too, if you're familiar uh, with the, uh, you know, the history button, go ahead and go down below, check it out. You'll see, obviously, that you know SUI is quite strong right now. There's zero reasons to consider a short, okay? Okay. Taking a look at AVAX, do we want to take a short position with this or do we take a long? That's the question. Well, the truth is there's more liquidation to the upside than the downside. We got some late longs here at about 26.50, but for the most part, we can see that uh, $28 is that next area of liquidation. So there's maybe 100, 200 million between here and $28 for that. And then of course, upwards of 29 too, there's a lot of shorts here. Uh, trying to short this guy. And as you can see, majority of shorts are getting destroyed. So it's not really a good short market right now. Most things are still honoring, you know, they're, they're respecting this ascending trend for Bitcoin. A lot of altcoins are doing the same thing, minus Aptos, of course, which is the one that we shorted over the weekend. Uh, we can see here at this point that uh, we're in pretty solid shape as far as, you know, the support or the likelihood of the price going higher from here, okay? Again, until the ascending trend breaks, we got to presume it's going to continue. Having said that, $29, yeah, we can see 28 to 29 is that the next area of liquidation. And we can see, obviously, too, as well, the delta for liquidation has shifted from bearish to bullish almost instantly as soon as the market opened today. Okay, so that's kind of where we're at there. Very last thing, open interest is about $26. I'm just kind of rounding up a little bit, but about $25.80, $26. That kind of shows us the the local uh, point basically the, the more, more recent open interest, but we can also see, too, maybe $26.80 as well. The key takeaway there is that when the when the the, um, the open interest is below the price action, it's a good sign for the bulls. It kind of reaffirms and reiterates support levels. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look here at the uh, the daily. Work our way down, kind of go from there. So on the daily time frame, uh, when we were looking at this last, we could see, of course, that uh, the moving averages were getting better, but we're still not over the 50-day or sorry, the 20-day SMA. All right, so that is going to work as a resistance for us here, reaffirming that. 0.5 FIB level of 27.40 is kind of the new resistance. Uh, now, I don't think you should short this coin by any stretch, but I do f personally feel like we might see retracement down to low, but maybe 26.50 is a possibility there. We can see MACD is converging. We got stochastic swinging up. We got 50 on the RSI or higher. Basically, we're over 50 on the RSI. The only concern I have here is the money flow index is lower than the RSI. It's usually not a great sign for a continuation. It generally implies that we could see the price pull back. So I don't love that. Our trend strength indicator isn't doing too well either. So there's a lot of reasons why I don't think uh, AVAX is going to catapult from here, just based on a macro perspective. But that can totally change. I mean, as we know, um, you know, cryptocurrency in general is just uh, pretty, pretty nutso in a lot of ways. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the... RSI on the four hour, kind of see where we're at here. Cause again, being over 50, that's a good sign. Stochastic's high, money flow index right there with it or higher. This is a good four hour time frame. I like when I see this here. 
However, you got to recognize too, it's not all you know perfect or perfection, so to speak, because once more, we got a second stochastic swing to the downside, kind of telling us we might see a shift in momentum here. Um, and then we look at the hourly too. This is a little different than other coins. Actually, no, it's pretty good considering. Uh, not quite as good, but generally speaking, we got the conversion line and the baseline intersecting. That lets us know the momentum in this phase here is discontinuing. Uh, we can also kind of see, and it's very ugly, keep in mind it's a crude illustration, but we've got somewhat of a head and shoulders. No, actually that candle looks a little bit higher. Disregard that, that's not even a thing. What is a thing though, is this here, this um, rising wedge pattern here. Again, I kind of highlighted that earlier. When rising wedges occur, they establish higher lows essentially, which is a positive sign. But if we break this ascending trend here, then that's a consideration for either hitting the reverse button if you're a day trader, or as a swing trader, maybe waiting for a better opportunity. Again, my opportunity I would say that I'd be interested in is, is 26.50, or just a little bit, maybe 26.60. I'll put an alert there just to kind of reevaluate and reaffirm, see if that's worth potentially take, you know, consideration for a long. Keep in mind, a lot of that's gonna be based on Bitcoin and, and how well it retraces if it continues to honor its ascending trend line or just respect its local support levels. I think staying above 62,000 for Bitcoin, we should be in pretty good shape for most altcoins to progress higher. Because um, again, a lot of vaults have moved past the, the local threshold of resistance. So this 0.382, this 0.5 FIB levels for most part, that's an area that we wanna make sure that we respect and understand that you know, being above that is extremely important and being below it may be a different story altogether. So again, I'll clean up our playout chart here. I'll post that on our Twitter, Telegram, and Discord. It looks a little something like this if you're not familiar. Or i just kind of give you a heads up on different coins that we're planning to take trades with. Obviously, uh, AVAX being one of those. Definitely one of our common, um, our common traders, or sorry, we have a lot of traders in our community that trade AVAX, but it's also a part of our day trading. Um, uh, basically, I have like a day trading group, and then there's also swing trades that we take frequently with AVAX as well. While we're not taking one right now, I want to wait for a pullback. It is still on the um, still on the the docket. Okay. All right. Either way, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate the support. Thank you to everybody who always hits the like button on every single video and helps grow the channel. We're seeing slightly higher views now. It could just be generally more interest in crypto, but I also think that uh, you always hitting the like button is helping a lot too. So thanks again. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for your time.